So I think we're live and we're live again for light body and leadership. I'm just going to make sure it all works as always before we dive into this mini masterclass. Um, if you have missed the other ones, do have a quick look. Uh, I'm just going to I'm just going to tag people here now, actually, I think. Um, yes, if you have missed any of the other ones, go to the guide section, which is in this group. And there you can find all the replays and all the trainings and all the wonderful things. So, okay, I'm just going to tag everyone here, everybody, because it seems to be working, um, this everyone thing. Uh, let's just do that. Uh, Here we go. I'm doing it. I'm tagging everyone. I think that's working. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Right. We are live. We are live. Let's dive into leadership now because that's this is one of my favorite. I'm just going to come out of this thing now here. This is one of my favorite topics, actually. Uh, why? Because I believe that new earth leaders and leadership is something that we would all like to embody and, and you know become if you like so that we can change the world so we can make the changes so one thing that I wanted to talk to you about today which I think is so so important uh, is looking at the old types of leadership and then the new types of leadership and how a new earth leader is somebody who is very collaborative who walks shoulder to shoulder with other light leaders. There is no competition. Uh, we're supporting each other. We are growing stronger. We endorse each other, you know, we lift each other up. And this type of leadership is new earth leadership, is unity consciousness um, leadership. And the old paradigm of competition and feeling inferior or having fear or feeling that you, somebody is better than the other or they trigger you, whatever it is, is just this old paradigm you know this is how the world has operated for thousands of years and we actually meant here to create unity within leadership and actually support each other in it all right and in the spiritual community there's still still a lot of separation programming going on because a lot of um you know spiritual sort of like thoughts and how things should be is still residing in the old paradigm which is around separation consciousness and around uh you know my poverty mindset and about around uh lack and fear and around spiritual you know arrogancy there's loads and loads of stuff going on there as much as it is in other communities as well so we as new earth leaders and spiritual new earth leaders uh is really about us embodying the unity consciousness embodying what we want to see here on earth and embodying that and becoming that really becoming that uh unity consciousness embodied new earth leader who can lead with power truth and love and not getting triggered by anyone else you know staying in your lane etc so i wanted to to talk about the embodiment piece first, the, the embodiment piece in terms of the light body uh, work itself, and then just a few other pointers around leadership that I believe it's on point uh, for us to create a better world, actually. So the, the embodiment part. So when you go through the light body process, um, as the, so first we do the body consciousness uh, realignment, we do the shadow removal, uh, crystals, devices, thresholds, removal, and then highlight activation, and then the activation, uh, the higher caliber and activations, which is the that's the that's the light sessions. But we have an energy integration session in between one each one. Uh, that's why it's twelve sessions over six months. So when you go through the process, what happens is that a you download your spiritual mission and becomes much clearer and everything. But you're also embodying your DNA changes and the signals in your physical body actually changes. Uh, you can actually start, you start radiating more light. You're becoming more uh, in your leadership position, I would say, actually. You become more empowered. You feel more confident. You become more embodied 
in the way you would like to share your mission with the world, which means when you embody the mission fully, not up here, you know, you're not up here in the high dimensions, sort of like not grounded. Embodiment means that you're grounding the mission into your body and fully in here to the 3D. What happens is that when your followers and your clients and your potential clients and your potential uh, opportunities that you encounter, when they can feel, because they don't, people feel, right? When they can feel that you have this type of embodiment, this type of, um, like you have become it, that can't lie, you see. That type of energetic transmission that you will give to your clients and to, to the opportunities and the other the things that you are wanting to create cannot be faked. It can't be faked because people feel, right? So when it comes to embodiment in terms of light leaders embodiment, it means that you on a physical level has fully pulled in and activated your mission also in your body. Not just what you've seen in the higher dimensions, you've not, you've, you've fully embody and grounded in, into your, into your root, into, you know, down into, into Mother Earth. And that's the big difference. And people can feel that. So when people feel that type of leadership, so for example, you're listening to me now. So you will be able to, let's say I made it up, I wouldn't obviously, but let's say I made it up that I, uh, I can take a group through uh, light body activations without, without a doubt. And I had only done three clients or something before. You would be able to feel that there's not enough solidity in the offer. Does that make sense? So you'd be like, hmm, she'd, what she's telling me sounds fantastic and I really want this, but there's something telling me there's an energetic leak somewhere that she's not not able or it's not going to work or it's nothing something not working on that level that is going to make this group happen yeah so and you may not even have that thought process it might just be more of a like hmm I'm just feeling something right and your intuition and your feelings are right okay so I believe in terms of leadership we become the leaders as we are doing the work. So for example, let's say I get 10 people in the group. Next time, I can for sure take more than 10 because I've already energetically stretched my capacity to take 10. I can then take 15, 20, maybe more, depending on what other things I've been doing in between. So you become the leader of your work. So the idea is to keep putting it out there, keep doing the work, keep uh, serving clients, keep growing, expanding, embodying energetically in itself. That's like the whole point. That's the whole point of new earth leadership. So this is exactly how you would grow your business, actually. So you will take a specific number of people through something and then next time it's bigger. And then next time it's bigger. And then next time it's bigger because your energy grows, your energy stretches. And this is something I help my clients with as well to stretch their energy so they can hold more. Yeah. So <clears throat> that's the embodiment piece. The other thing with lead, new earth leadership or leadership in itself, it's about bringing new thought in. A new thought can only really come from a pioneeric innovative place, a place of download or a place of where you go, oh, that's a great idea. Do you know what I mean? So with that knowledge that you're like, okay, new thought, how do I get new thought? So here's the thing. As soon as you start growing yourself and gently, as soon as, so as soon as I had the light body activations, I have never been so creative. Like I was okay creative when I was younger, 
but honestly the creativity that's coming through is like immense right so if i want to bring you if, so if I, so basically having the light body activations is like a fast track to actually um like opening the channel in such a way so that you can start creating with ease and things are coming really easily new thought will come through new ideas new ways of thinking of things new ways of putting things new ways of explaining things new ways of um just allowing the truth to come through you okay that's new thought so that's new thought so new, so new earth needs new thought leadership needs new thought that's in any type of leadership that's in entrepreneurial leadership i mean i know a lot of entrepreneurs that are not considered themselves spiritual entrepreneurs they are online entrepreneurs but they talk about new thought and leadership in this way as well and it's completely true um so whether that's new thought in marketing or new thought in uh business development or new thought in higher consciousness new thought in spiritual awakening, new thought in whatever new thought it is in, new thought is meant to come through. And that's what the light body work also promises. Because as soon as you open the channel more and embody more unity consciousness, new thought comes easy. Because <laughs> it's like you're connecting to the divine computer up there, which has got all the information and you're not blocked. You can just like pull it down, basically. So it's just, yeah, it's just really wonderful. I mean, honestly, how this work has opened up my world and the world of my clients is absolutely incredible. It's like, I feel truly blessed. Like I feel so blessed to be a part of it really. So, so that's the one thing. So that's the next thing. The next, I made a note. <laughs> the next thing is courage. So Jenny Lyon, my husband always says, do you have courage, Jenny Lyon? <laughs> We're just laughing. Um, but yes, you need courage like a lion. Like you need courage. And change doesn't happen. Leadership and change and leading other people doesn't happen from habit. You know, you've got to do things differently to get different results and to get different outcomes. And that comes with courage because courage, it's like, Somebody saying, I'm going to do this no matter what. I'm going to make this happen no matter what. I don't really care what other people think. I don't care what people say behind my back. I don't care what the outcome is going to be, outcome is going to be because I am following my spiritual signature. And if I'm following my spiritual signature, it's going to stick because the universe is universal law. That if I follow my heart and my soul, I trust the universe follow me, everything will be provided for. So we've got to have courage. We've got to have courage. That's like, and if you don't have courage, you can build courage. You know what I mean? So some people might say, well, I'm not sure if I am that courageous. Well, you can build courage. Uh, you know, it's like building confidence. You can build confidence over time. And that's another thing with this work because, because the spiritual mission or the spiritual transmission whatever that is that you're giving as a healer or as a leader or dancer or creator in the space that you're in you're meant to like you're meant to just follow that I actually lost my thought there <laughs> you're meant to follow that and you're meant to fully trust and lean into that and that everything else will absolutely follow when you do that and that's when so it's like a combination no that's what I was gonna say like what it promises, confidence and courage. Because it's, because you're opening up your channel and connecting to your soul and there's so much ego death, you're just connected to your truth all the time. So you get naturally confident because you just feel like, okay, I'm just going to do this. Great, I'm following my soul. Uh, and you're not not really thinking, oh, what is other people going to say? What's going to happen? Oh, I'm not sure. Or, you know, what if, they, what if it's not going to work? Because you're just like, I'm just following my, how I can serve them. I'm just following how I can serve them. And for that reason, it's, it's going to work because I'm following how I can serve them. Yeah. And that's exactly, that's exactly what happens with the work. You just open this complete trust, confidence and courage 
uh, element up. So courage is very important. The other thing, I've I mentioned this already, it's about leading shoulder to shoulder. So especially women can be so, oh, can be so horrible to each other. Do you know what I mean? Women can be so catty um, and like not just in the spiritual community, but in so many different communities, like, you know, it's, it's, it's an old paradigm stuff. And it's about, it's about healing that. It's about healing anything that triggers you that seems to come from another leader or something like that. It's about you healing that in you. Um, I get it all the time. I trigger people all the time. Um, in, in, I don't necessarily get haters as in like, you know, but I trigger them all the time because there's there's something you either so they may be triggered because there is a truth that i say that the ego cannot handle or the ego cannot really sort of like go okay that is the truth i'm getting triggered how i'm going to respond to this then that's triggered and then they may react instead of respond but and this happens everywhere, doesn't it? It's like everywhere. You can, you people get triggered for stuff everywhere. So for me, leadership means, for new athlete leadership means that we, we're meant to walk shoulder to shoulder with our light leaders. We're meant to collaborate. We're meant to lift each other up. We're meant to encourage each other. We're meant to uh, share our gifts and talents. We're meant to support each other and actually detach completely from competition, detach completely from, from all the, you know, Detached basically from all the things that could potentially create separation and actually just be happy and be be excited to be their friend and, and have a very neutral, um, how should I put it, a very neutral approach to things and being uh, excited for other people, etc. right? Because you have to remember the cells, the physical cells are programmed in separation consciousness, which means competition, there's not enough. What if they get it and I don't? What if there's not enough for me and they get it sort of thing? That's the old paradigm. So we just need to go, ah, thank you brain for reminding me of the old paradigm <laughs> mindset and old paradigm behavior, but I'm gonna choose to believe this instead. Okay, so that's kind of like the consciousness shift and the, uh, yeah, just the leadership shift that needs to happen within uh, new athletes. And to be honest, a lot of leaders within um, very successful entrepreneurs, very successful, uh, not just financially, but, you know, with client results and all those things, even if they're not spiritual, as in like they don't consider themselves spiritual, they've grown tremendously on a personal level. And there's a lot of um, affiliation and supporting each other and lifting each other up and uh, encouraging each other and like really supporting each other in that on that in on that level of success because they know that that's the way to do it. That's the way to do it, and this is the way to do it. So I really advocate this in new earth leadership as well that we walk shoulder to shoulder, we support each other. Uh, we take the support where we need. We let people lead themselves. Um, this is why I don't believe that we can lead anyone else unless they want to come along, right? So that's why I put the masterclasses out and I put my stuff out there because I believe that if people want to come along and listen and, and need this right now, they will. They will. I, I send some reminders and a few emails, but that's it. I... This is what I believe. So if you are in the space of leadership yourself, you just got to trust that the people will come along. You invite them, you show up, you share your truth, you show up and share, share your expertise, you lead with light, you lead with confidence, you lead with courage, you lead with all those things and everything, and they're going to come along. You put offers out there, invite them to trainings, invite them to programs, invite them to transformation. And the ones that are going to come will come like literally so so this is this is very sort of like detached leadership of 
the new earth where we we lead with our purpose power we lead with the truth we lead with what we're passionate with, with we we show it we, sh we share it and the people that are meant to come along will come along that's it that's really how simple it is um so yeah another thing i wanted to say about leadership before we, we're not going to finish just yet but i'll make sure i get this one in is that you're meant to be so authentic and so truthful with your self and your work and your business that it will repel some people and it will magnetize some people the more polarity you find and this is not polarity as in like they don't belong here more like that message really sticks with me that message does not stick with me it's more like do I like it? Do I not like it? That level of repelling and magnetizing is perfect. It's perfect marketing. It's perfect messaging. It's perfect in itself because your soul and your energy and what you're here to offer in your spiritual mission is meant to attract a specific soul tribe. And then this other person over here is meant to attract their soul tribe. And it's not about separating the tribes and go, well, your tribe over there, and this is my tribe over there. It's not like that. It's more like, ah, there's a tribe over there. Oh, I wonder what they're up to. Or they're doing that. Okay, cool. That's just interested. But mm, this one looks much more interesting. This is like my vibe. I like this. I'm going to go over there. That's the kind of leadership skills that you should have as well. Because... To be a leader, we also want to interact with others and we want to hang out in places where we resonate as well. So just because you're a leader it doesn't mean you're not a follower. All good leaders are good followers as well. That's another thing. So if, if I want to learn something from myself, so I'm a leader. So if I look at someone else and go, mm, I really want to learn some more things about this or about that or whatever. I basically make sure I go and learn. I go and follow someone else and I, uh, you know, learn and take it on and I'm humble in my learning so that I can make that my own knowledge, you know, in, in a way or take that into my consciousness and make that something that I can make use of or grow or, you know, share in my own way even. So that's really important. So before... We want to stop. I'm going to show you something that I think is really important here. And this, these two slides, actually, it's only two slides. They are from another masterclass that I was doing a while ago, but they're really on point. And I wanted to share them because they really make sense. I think it will make sense for you as well. OK, so let's do these. So I was talking. This is the success trifecta and let me just um i'm gonna actually make it big so that you can see from the slide uh i don't want timings no there we go just this one there that's a better picture i think okay so new earth leader embodiment <clears throat> right here we go so to achieve the success that you are truly dreaming of, wanting on all levels in your life and your business, I talk about three, the trifecta of success, okay? So you will have qualifications, tools, and experience. So this will be uh, your coaching or I mean look if you're not a healer you might be a coach you might be a marketeer you might be a critic creative you might be something else which is fine so you have your qualifications your tools and experience here and obviously the more experience you become the more you can hold just like this like with a group so I'm like okay I'm ready to do a group you know I can take more people through this at the same time it's an experience thing right and my energy can hold this type of you know, transformation. So that's a part of the success to be experienced and to have qualifications. And you don't have to have lots, you know, if you have experience in something. Uh, for example, my uh, client, Monique, who's got very a lot of experience in program, project management, she can very much take this uh, conscious app 
to out into the world because she knows how to run projects. You know, she can work towards deadlines. Um, she works well in teams and different teams and with different people to get things done. And that's exactly what she needs in this in the launch of this. So she she has the experience of doing that. So that's part of her success, right? Now, when it comes to us as online entrepreneurs, healers, coaches, leaders online, the, the, one of the things is obviously business and marketing acumen. So we, we need to know how to package our skills and our genius up, if you like, and then create the right marketing and problem solving for our clients so that they can truly feel um, happy and excited, like, you know, about buying your program. So for example, in this light body group, I'm explaining to you and teaching you what the light body work promises. And then I am putting it together in a business way and in a marketing way so that you can make an informed decision about joining the group. You have all the corners covered. I put it together in such a way that there's going to be no confusion or something missing. I'm hoping <laughs> if there's anything missing, let me know. Um, so that's like the business and marketing acumen around this particular group. There's going to be different ways to market and, and, and run your different groups and run different programs, but that, that's just one, this is just one way I'm doing it right now. And all the strategies will work if the energy behind it is right, by the way. Yeah. Okay. Now, this is the energy work and your personal growth that comes in as a new earth leader. And the light body work comes in here in this in this part of the triangle. So this is about elevating your spiritual gifts. You will do that naturally through the light body work. And obviously you will grow personally because you are healing a lot of your ego and shedding, shedding the ego and, and experience ego death. And then you're starting to embody more of unity consciousness. And that in itself creates a, a more robust and whole and embodied human who can take the mission that they they're here to you know that they're here to, sh to share basically um to the world basically having these three in a balanced professional harmonic and powerful way promises a new earth leader embodiment basically okay that's it really that's all i want to share on this one there's one more slide, I'll show you that one as well. So what happens mm. often, people, they have their tools and experience, they start growing personally, and they start developing their gifts, they start enhancing, you know, in their consciousness. And then when they master the business and marketing fully, this is how the success, you know, they really, they, they go, they succeed. They make money, they have impact. They do all the things that they're meant to be doing. That's it, really. So I'm going to finish up with this. I think we're just on time. I might have run over a couple of minutes. Let's see. No, it's actually on time, right on time there. Um, so, yeah, that was for today. Tomorrow, I think we have light body and health. So if you are somebody who would love to have the light body activations, and you are looking to get your health improved, then this program is also for you. Now, there is a little bit of a clause there. If somebody is very sick or have a lot of physical ailments, I wouldn't take you through a group environment, um, only one-on-one, -on -one, really, because not, no, not sure what's gonna pop up, you know, in your physicality, when we do this deep work because this is like the deepest work you could ever have um so for your own safety um i would have to check you know how how your circuits are and everything all right but normally it's, it should be fine uh i'm only saying it as a clause you know as it was all right so uh if you're interested in joining the group don't forget to book your success clarity call with me uh the link is in this post um just book it in we have a chat if you have any questions let me know i think i probably will run a q and a as well uh probably next week i'll run a q and a um just one and you can come along there but if you wanted more of a 
private questions and you know asking like how to enroll and payment plans and all that there is a payment plan and you can see that in guide four where all the information about the program is but uh yeah just let me know just let me know and i'll see you tomorrow about light body and health and i will share my own results as well uh, i've had incredible physical results from having this work done as well love you all see you tomorrow